Hello, everyone. My name is Azim Ghazi Matin. I'm a PhD candidate at Max Planck Institute for Informatics, and I would like to talk about our paper, Elixir, Learning from User Feedback on Explanations to Improve Recommender Models. This is the joint work with my colleagues, Shumadrit Pramanik, Rishira Chaharai, and Gerhard Michael. Let me begin with a motivating example. Imagine you're using a recommender system, let's say an online movie streaming service, and you are recommended with the movie Fight Club. According to the system generated explanations, this item is recommended to you because in the past we have watched movies that share some uh, similarities based on cast, content, or genre with the movie Fight Club. Now, depending on how much you like or dislike this movie, you might want the system to show you more movies like this or less similar ones. Conventional and probably the most straightforward way to communicate this need uh, with the system is to rate the received item or to give it a simple thumbs up or thumbs down. However, this way the system would miss the chance of uh, learning what it is about this item that you like or dislike. Unless, of course, you provide a system uh, with a large number of similar ratings over time. Also, item level feedback uh, falls short on accounting for the fact that you might like some aspects of the movie and at the same time dislike some others. For instance, here there are multiple aspects to the movie Fight Club, such as its cast, like Brad Pitt. Um, it's a storyline with surprise ending and it's violent content. Uh, so in this scenario, the best feedback would be if you could inform the system that uh, you like say Brad Pitt and surprise ending and dislike violent content, uh, for example, by checking some item properties or filling in some forms or questionnaires. However, this would be a tedious effort and only a few users would engage in. And also, in this case, the system would have to come up with a very fine-grained feature space of item properties that are beyond usual categories, such as movie genres. We overcome these limitations by uh, leveraging user feedbacks on pairs of uh, recommendations and explanations. In other words, we pair uh, recommendation items with each of their explanations and ask users whether they like or dislike uh, the similar aspects between the two items. For instance, here, by pairing the movies Fight Club and The Prestige, user can think of movies with surprise endings, so she can give a rating accordingly. So this would be a lightweight way of uh, collecting user feedback, uh, because here we do not burden users with a long list of um, uh, item features that they have to go over and mark the ones that they like or dislike. Also, it is up to the user to judge what is common or similar between the two items. Besides, uh, by using the explanation items to be paired with the recommendations, we ensure presence of similarities between the two items and also uses familiarities with both items because the explanation items belong to uh, user's history. This brings us to Elixir, which is uh, a human in the loop framework we devised for efficient learning from item level explanations and recommenders. The ultimate goal of this framework is to improve future rec uh, recommendations by leveraging user feedback on pairs of recommendations and explanations. Elixir has components for collecting, densifying, and incorporating feedback, with, which I will explain next. We extend the state-of-the-art state of recommender models uh, with a feedback matrix uh, that encodes um, uh, like or dislike signals on pairs of recommendation and explanation items. Uh, to collect this feedback, we ask users whether they like uh, or dislike the similarity between the two items and encode users uh, positive, negative, and no feedback with one, minus one, and zero respectively. We expect this feedback matrix to be extremely sparse. To mitigate this sparseness, uh, we apply uh, the classic label propagation algorithm by Chu and Gahramani on pairs of items where uh, Labels here represent um, users' positive or negative uh, feedback. For this, we first turn each pair of items into a pseudo item by computing the geometric mean of uh, their feature vectors. The original label propagation algorithm requires an affinity matrix W, which encodes the similarity, uh, similarities between the data points. In our problem, um, we propagate the labels on pairs. So the affinity matrix here contains um, pair pair similarities. And this makes uh, the matrix W extremely huge and it prohibits its full materialization. So instead, we populate a small subset of uh, matrix W by only considering the k nearest neighbors of the label pairs. A naive approach here would require generation of all 
pairs of items in which uh, we compute the k nearest neighbors of the pseudo items. However, this would be computationally expensive. Um, and so to avoid this bottleneck, we uh, approximate uh, the nearest neighbors of each pseudo item. And for this, we find the k nearest neighbors of each pseudo item among the individual items um, by searching in I, which represents a, a universal single items, individual items. Um, the efficiency of this, is, this step can also be further improved by applying locality sensitive hashing. Next, we uh, pair up the found items and search for k nearest neighbors of the pseudo item in the resulting set. And this way we can um, uh, populate matrix W and subsequently uh, densify the feedback matrix in an efficient way. All right, to incorporate um, the collected user feedback into the model, we use a mapping function G with parameters W to produce user specific item representations. Here is how we learn the parameters of this mapping function. As you can see here, the effect of minimizing this uh, objective function is twofold. When the user gives a negative um, feedback on a pair of items, uh, their, their new representations are supposed to be pushed farther away from each other, while uh, the positive feedback has an opposite effect. It brings the in, uh, involved items closer to each other. So this way we change the relative dis uh, distance of items to users profile, uh, such that hopefully more interesting items will appear among the top recommendations. We instantiated our framework Elixir with RecWalk, which is a state-of-the-art recommender model with uh, random walks with based on random walks, uh, walks with uh, restart. Uh, to give you a brief overview, the input to this model is a heterogeneous graph where the nodes represent users and items, and the edges are um, they capture both user item interactions and item item similarities. The relevance of uh, the relevance scores of items here are computed by running personalized page rank for a given user. Previously, we showed that the recommendations in this model uh, can be faithfully explained by a method called prints. So we use the same method to generate explanations here. Next, we choose the mapping function G to be a vector translation. And um, we learn the translation uh, vector W uh, by minimizing the objective function described earlier. A note that here, the similarity function is replaced with the cosine similarity. After learning W, we update the uh, similarity matrix and subsequently the weight of similarity edges in the graph and rerun the recommendation model uh, using the um, updated user specific uh, similarity matrix to generate new recommendations. To demonstrate the practical viability of this framework, um, it was necessary for us to uh, conduct a real user study because the existing benchmarks do not contain user feedback on pairs of recommendations and explanations. So for this, we recruited 25 students from uh, our university campus and uh, performed a longitudinal user study over um, a period of three weeks for two domains, uh, movies and books. Uh, this study had three phases. So in the first phase, uh, we asked uh, the users to provide us with uh, 50 items they liked uh, to build the true history of each user, which would create a subsequent recommendations for her. Uh, for each domain, we uh, conducted this phase in a session spanning two hours. Next, we uh, plugged the collected user profiles into the RecWalk and generated the, uh, and generated the top 30 recommendations for um, each user. Uh, to populate the similarity matrix as we first learned the latent representations of items by applying non-negative matrix factorization on item feature matrix. And then we computed the uh, pairwise cosine similarity of items. We paired the generated uh, recommendations uh, with each of their top five explanations. And to investigate the effect of using faithful explanations, we also paired each recommendation item with its um, five least relevant explanations as a proxy for um, random or low quality explanations. Uh, next, we, act, we asked users to uh, rate 
uh, these recommendations and generated pairs. So this phase required 10 hours from each user. So to avoid task fatigue, uh, this was a spread over five to hour sessions. Lastly, we incorporated the collected uh, user feedback into the model, produce new recommendations and ask users to rate them uh, for final evaluations. Uh, this phase was completed in a single session at the end of the third week. All right, we evaluated Elixir for different uh, configurations, including the baseline where we exploit uh, solely the item level feedback on recommended items. Um, in the next two configurations, um, uh, we only capture user judgments on pairs. And uh, the difference here is that in the third uh, configuration, um, the explanation items are replaced by the least relevant items for, from user's history. The next two configurations absorb both item level and pair level feedback. And um, like the previous two configurations, they differ based on how we generate explanations. All right. We compared the performance of uh, different configurations uh, using three different metrics. However, here we uh, present only the values of precision at K because uh, the trends were similar for other metrics. So according to this uh, table, the most salient observation here for both domains um, is that including pair level feedback, which corresponds to all the rows highlighted in yellow, uh, results in substantial improvement over the baseline where we consider only item level feedback. The next interesting finding is that when the size of the item level and pair level feedback is the same, incorporating only pair level feedback uh, leads to a higher gain in recommendation performance. Uh, so this shows that uh, pair level feedback is uh, more discriminative than item level. Lastly, we observe that pairing recommendations with their faithful explanations Consistency, consistently yields better results than pairing with um, random irrelevant items. Uh, so this means that it is important to use faithful explanations for collecting pair level feedback. All right, here are some insights on user behavior in our study. To see the size distribution of uh, different feedback types, we plotted the number of uh, item level and pair level feedback uh, provided by each user. And we observed that users tend to give much more positive feedback than negative. In addition, uh, we noticed that users uh, who are more likely to provide negative item level uh, ratings are also biased towards more dislikes on item pairs. The same trend also goes for positive feedback. This shows that user behavior carries over from items to pairs. Another observation was that uh, genres and contents are much more likely to influence uh, user preferences as opposed to directors and actors in movie domain or authors for books. Uh, for more insights, including um, the effect of profile, user profile diversity on Elixir's performance and some anecdotal examples, we refer the audience to our paper. All right, to conclude, uh, we devised Elixir, which is a human in the loop framework that elicits lightweight user feedback on uh, similar aspects of recommendations and explanation items. Uh, Elixir incorporates uh, pair level feedback by learning user specific item representations. We instantiated Elixir with uh, Rayquat, which represents um, a major class of recommenders based on random walks with restart. Our, uh, Evaluation with real user studies uh, showed major gains in recommendation quality over uh, item level feedback. Um, that's it. Thank you very much for your attention. Um, I'm looking forward to discussing our paper with you at the web conference.